In this video, I'm gonna share with you my number one reason for using Fusion for VFX in DaVinci Resolve. This is by far the most beautiful thing about working with Fusion and exactly why I work with Fusion every day. Even though there are all kinds of programs that do visual effects, I worked for a long time in After Effects. That's how I got my first job. I mean, I've just spent so much time doing visual effects and compositing. And even though I love After Effects, I am just head over heels for Fusion. There are a lot of reasons to like Fusion. One, it's free. Two, it's integrated in Resolve. Three, it's node-based. And that may or may not be a reason for you to love Fusion. But nodes are sort of one of those things where once you understand them and once you've worked with nodes, you realize it's like the best way to work. So beautiful. I had no idea. Especially for visual effects but I was just working through a bunch of shots on one of our films and I had to kind of stop and take a minute just to appreciate the workflow that I was just kind of automatically doing that I'm now taking for granted. <laughs> Here's what it is. Here in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve, I have a shot here that is supposed to look like it's raining and I forget actually if it even was raining or not, but if you've ever shot in the rain, especially at night, it's pretty hard to tell if it's raining <laughs> or not on camera without lighting the water a certain way. And so we have this shot that it's supposed to look like it's pouring rain. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking this particle system here that I've just rendered out this, just some raindrops and masking it with some noise and color correcting it so that it's blue and adding some blur to it and transforming it and making it a little bit bigger so that it wipes the screen like this. And then I'm applying some tracking to it and then putting it over the shot so that it looks like it's raining, okay? Now this is a little bit strong, so I'd actually probably take this down quite a bit, you know, keep it subtle. But now we have these raindrops coming down and so it's going to mix with the other shots where it's pouring rain. <laughs> it's easy enough to do that in Fusion. You could totally do that in something like After Effects or Nuke or Hit Film or whatever you wanna do, but I'm gonna show you the magic, okay? So I have a shot here, and if I go back to my edit, this is the shot I was just working on, and then I have this shot, and then I have another shot down here, which is essentially kind of the same thing. It's not exactly the same because the tracking is gonna be different and everything, but I'm in a situation here where I'm adding rain to this shot, 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 I'm adding rain to this shot. There's so many shots here. And so what I can do, this is crazy, is from within the Fusion page, I'll just turn off our page navigation, I can go up here to this button that says Clips, and I can select that, and this brings up all of the thumbnails of all of the clips in my timeline. And look at this magic. I can just grab what I'm doing, Control C, switch over to my next shot, Control V, paste this in, track the shot, replace a couple nodes, and now I have my rain coming down on this shot too. And I can just tweak this to make a little more sense. Blend this down a little bit so it's not too crazy. And there we go, there we have the shot. Amazing, let's go to the next shot. And I can do this same thing and just repeat it. And so I can quickly go through and add similar things to the different shots. I can navigate in between my different shots on my timeline without even going to the edit page. And the craziest part, the craziest part of all of this is that there's no rendering. What did you say? So when the shot's done, I just leave. I just go to a different shot and start working on that. So I don't have to render it out and make sure that everything's good with that and then export it and then replace things on the timeline. All of that takes tons of time. It starts to add up, especially if you have a bigger movie where it really adds up. And so this is a sweet workflow to have these clips and just to be able to go through and find all of your effects shots and just copy and paste this stuff to those shots. Oh my gosh, such a huge time saver. So if you're looking for a reason to finally jump in and kind of learn Fusion, just the workflow side of things is great. And I'm using Fusion to make a whole bunch of invisible effects for this movie. There's the video where I go through all of the process. All right, so I'll see you over, I'll see you over there, okay? Okay. <laughs>